What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. So then round off where we left off, this army under Comrade Order is attacking the town over Diaper, and they have a fairly lackluster garrison, but we will move up in aggressive order because they have mortar batteries. So without further ado, let's crack on. So because we've actually got lots of useful war targets to go for, and we don't have very much of a powerful enemy to stand against us. Once we've harnessed the resources of the Indian continent, then nothing is be smashing through the Middle East and then head towards Europe. So I'm probably gonna want... Let's set up a big battery here. So let's quickly shuffle my microphone a little bit. Just to make my, 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 my um, keyboard a bit quieter. So let's take four units of infantry to form our main advancing line. The well, howitzers can stay formed here. We'll wait to see if they need to drop a quick line. And let's drop our marines further up because they're going to push up on the flank, supported by our cavalry. And the general is going to advance up the middle. So it would appear you can outflank these artillery positions because as ridiculous as it seems, as soon as you add these walls onto them, apparently they can't actually fire to the sides. Their, their, their field of fire is constricted the same as foot artillery, which to me just sounds really dumb. I just can't actually fire at all from that distance. My infantry are going to walk until they come under fire from when they will, they will run. That's the foot artillery which I'm not so bothered about. See, so lost nine men actually. Run the infantry. Let's take the cavalry on a grand merry race. I mean, I'm not taking them run. They decided they did not want to. General, you stay the hell out of the way. Might be worth sending the second light horse. Keep my cavalry close, just in case the camels decide to do something clever. That's very still. Bouncing shots getting a couple of secondary kills, but... Okay, they are camel gunners, so you don't want to get too close to them. Not with my cavalry. That, that, that's a cheap way to lose experienced cavalry. Okay, now that's a limber. Yep, they're all winded. So my marines have got up into a position where I can start to provide gunfire support. At least against the gunners. The camel gunners, that is. Let's retarget my foot artillery to engage them specifically. Come on, how to engage the other unit of camels? Let's bring in let's bring the cavalry in. Okay, you guys. Go, I was about to say form square, but I didn't want to do that. You guys will, though. It just seems like they're keen to charge. Mm. Yeah, 
also seems important to note that the enemy seems keen to charge on this flank. So I'll get you guys back into line. Then wrap up this flank pretty nicely. Let's chase the send the hussars after the camels. So ooh, these units are actually getting, getting real hammering from the fusiliers. All the houses for now. Oh wow, that is a complete route. Let's get the household cavalry over here to intercept the musketmen, although to be honest, it looks like they're gonna fall really quickly. Don't want to engage them because they're gonna be shot at from my supporting infantry, so no real. You guys to provide a bit of a blocking force here. Do you still have you guys? Send the Union Marines in, the march or the Marines up to take a strong position. But it looks like they're all just going to I'm losing cavalrymen. I'm losing cavalrymen from shots from these guys, but to be honest. Been such a massive route. So much so, it's like just send your cavalry after it, just anyone. My marines are gonna tear the backs out of these troops covering the wall. You guys get out of dodge. And they're going after the mortar garrison unit. That's fair enough. Send them all in. Let's halt artillery fire. Get them all to charge in. The Marines are missing a bit of melee combat. Right, my guys are tired and they're fresh, but my Marines are just brilliant and I've got an absolute crap load of them. They're going to fall thick and fast. I may lose more marines doing this than if I shot it out, but to be honest, the Marathas have fallen so precipitously in India that I don't really care so much about the optimization of this battle. We've got time to spare. I don't know where they cut this is. Oh, he killed. Let's watch the officer, see if he gets someone. We got him. We got one of my marines. Let's see if someone pays him back the privilege. Oh, slashed him. Oh, that was this guy that killed him. All oh, your friends are dying around you, though. Ah, yeah, sir, my marines. Oh. Chase them down. Although, that's definitely the end of the battle. They just completely folded. Like, really quickly, they were just done. <laughs> Not for us. That's another region secured. Okay, we need to see if we, we, need, to, we need to see if we can keep this the experience of these guys up. So that's a diaper, a diaper secured. 
Mm, you got a bunch of mortars and gurkhas and lots of other really annoying stuff. Um, oh, hey, in turn. The next turn I'll see about attacking Akbarabad. You get to Hyderabad. Need to fix Mysore as well. Mm. Our spies in America continuing to survey the situation on the continent. Spaniards are being sneaky. I'm still at war with the Prussians, so I could create an army in Copenhagen to go hit stock storming and driving in from the, the southeast. Then I'll land on the northern shores when I'm creating a at once. I mean, there's no point in doing it now because there's no point in me creating the armies to to just do nothing. They may actually try to sally. Nope, sadly not. This Corland is on the march. On the, on the sail. On the high seas, I should say. Rather than the march. It would be nice to smash their fleets. But to be honest, we're in... There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Yeah, that's fair enough. Select the type. to Bombay. No, I'm not going to start dropping out global, global global trading companies because that is expensive. So let's start fixing Mysore. Let's get you a church school as well. You. Yeah, we are at war with Dagestan already, so push up to just this side of the bridge. Diaper, let's spend some money on you and at Malwa. You can see right now, because we're taking territory so quickly, we are actually we are actually getting to a position where we are um, <laughs> the demands on our economy are huge because we've we've got so much territory to invest in isn't bad because I do like I do like building up the economy in this game it is rather fun okay, keep them tax free upgrade the chapter school so this army here has less of a role see we need these chapter schools to help just offset their bad guys so in, he's just in Calcutta, but in Calcutta, because of our church schools, we are still gaining on them. Although, where is my you? You. That's probably why it's a good thing to actually keep this this happiness building here, so I can start to spawn more rakes to try and take out. Are oh, you are a, oh, a prophet? It's frustrating. Weaver's Cottage Fortress, Cloth Mills, Madrasa. Um, okay, so we've got this army in Calcutta. You could do with a unit of foot artillery, which you can get from here. And then I will send it over here to land, maybe with another army here at Bandar Abbas. I'll send them to, send them to go secure Zahedin. Because I'm at peace with the Ottomans, but I soon won't be. Okay, so that's, that's the start of my main fleet. So I'm just putting seconds and thirds for now, because I want to get realistic United steam engines. But I'm going to wait for Odense to research shrapnel shot before knocking them on. Bengal, you can get new roads. Yeah, new craft workshops already being upgraded. Cloth mills, chap schools, dried up, Santa Española. 
France is becoming a bit big, so we may end up having to conduct a campaign against them at some point, because they seem to be doing quite well against the 13 colonies. See, they're hostile to me. Probably because I killed their governing... because I, I killed their uh, power. I mean, I'll, I'll give you... I'll give you canister shot just to try and hold off the... Uh, Oh, don't have any cannons. I wasn't done. Let's see what this fleet sail over here. So you can join up with... Who's the best person to join you up with? Probably these guys up here. Calcutta. Chips of the line of Bengal. War galleon here. That was to go to... India, or the East Indies Trade Theatre. Let's put a tr one global trading company there in London. I suppose at some point we have to start building them in other places too. So it would be most worthwhile at Satara because it's earning us the most amount of cash. Crazy amounts of exports on the way. Good. So you're being rebuilt, you're being rebuilt. Oh, we can get some tea plantations. Wicked. Ah. So it's been, been that in favour of decent roads for a diaper. Lots of lots and lots of towns, which is good. Okay, it might be, be useful to use Hartman he, to get his army a bit more experience. Um, let's attack Akbarabad. So we are going to bombard them from a distance uh, for a while, just to take advantage of our artillery dis artillery advantage and the fact they've got actually lots of. Got lots of mobs and got some reinforcements coming in that might be might be a bit dodgy. But let us attack. And they're in with two armies, so if one army gets utterly destroyed, you can replace them with. And at the very least, if one of my armies do get destroyed, I've got a solid core of decent infantry waiting at Hyderabad and north on the next uh, the next convoy. You can never play the future by the past. We do like to try, which is, again, it's mostly having those Gurkhas there that, that are the most concerning. And I might actually want to set my armies up, my artillery up to he over here. Trouble is, is this, this like, hillock isn't very helpful, so I'm probably going to have to go over here. Battery. With a house is in the centre. Well, not in the centre, but you know, in position. At least you've got a solid amount of cavalry if their reinforcements come in from a peculiar position. Four units of line to go in from the front. And we've got some more experienced infantry. Actually, in a pretty, you know, pretty good spot as it is. Let's get General's bodyguard in for into cover. So Mortar's range is 600. They can just about cover the cover the map or cover the you know, key parts. Damn! Yes, please hit that bit. Let's watch, let's watch these howitzer the shells come in. I did notice it does say Okay, full artillery. Aim here. Oh god damn. Move. Move. We need to move our gun teams before they move before they Nice, they're all, they're all firing a bit short, so I'm curious if they're actually... If 
this will get them out of range. They need to move. If it does mean I might lose some actual gun teams, but I couldn't stay there. See, that looked like an artillery shot back off the wall. Yeah, it is. So they're still engaging, so they might be going after our. Yep, pull right back. Thank you, guys. In theory, I should be positioning my artillery. Well, the smart thing to do would have been to position my artillery just. Just enough so that it would actually it could cover the central position but not be too dependent on not dependent, that's the wrong word, but position is smarter than this. Especially as I've now got a significantly diminished set of artillery teams. But judging from these these rounds coming in, I think that might actually be enough. So these are mortar shells coming in now. Nope, they still won't range my gun team. My how it says team, sorry. But I think actually those might have been that might have been the unit on the walls doing those doing this getting this how it's a kill here. Ah, oh, and I'll miss it, actually. There we go, they're out of range. Took out one gun team. Wait a minute. Engaging, who are they engaging? Let's pull these guys back. Just because it serves no good at all. Okay, so I think... Okay, now they're dropping around cavalry, or attempting to, but they're falling short. These guys are dropping rounds on the centre, because that's where the most profitable kills to be found. Like that would have been lots of kills, even for a round shot. These guys actually good. So I want these guys to make a hole to draw some of these forces off of this section of the wall. Yeah, well, oh, even more shots and sets up. So I'm not even I'm not using quick line, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I could I'd get absolutely buckets of kills for this. Yeah, they are firing, but they're firing short. About here. Another volley. These guys are firing at. Not at the middle like I wanted. But that's a delicious shot right in the middle there. Let's speed up time a little bit because right now all that's happening is that. Trying to make some holes in the walls. I'm just watching for some near misses. I mean, did my artillery, artillery just stop shooting? Yeah, it did. The scoundrels. So I want to aim for this section here and then also this section here because at least then near misses might land on the centre.
good. They might have knocked it down by now. Ooh. One more volley. So imagine to move one garrison musketman unit across. Let's triple speed it. So ah, the wall is not down because units keep missing. But Swicky getting getting the odd shot into the centre, which is nice. Boom. That section's gone. Let's just see if they deploy to defend the breach. It'd be nice if they did. Ooh, that's another good hit. So the Gurk has lost 50 men. Ooh, there's a few more that'll be taken down. Because you're such an inviting target, I'm actually gonna manually target you to drop quick climb on this garrison unit. The rest can still drop round shot in the centre. But you deserve a quick climb shell right here. Around shot at the centre. So I've earned my quote unquote assault forces a reprieve. Some of them have actually got quite damaged, including the Swedish Legion. They are very poorly. So beautiful watching these shots slam into the <laughs> centre. I may actually. Oh no. Ooh. So if I did that. Can I get a quick line unit to potentially knock out this mortar crew with just an oval shaped cough? So the shells are coming in. There it is. Oh, that's going wide. That's going over here. Got two of them. My foot artillery actually making another. So, because I've got three units of cavalry, I'm going to want to open up a couple of holes just to spread my infantry in the gaps quickly. Play really carefully because, like I said, waters are not are not good fun. So let's speed up time. Actually, let's double speed it, not triple. So you guys still dropping round shot? Yep, you are. Because the Gurkhas are really bad. My artillery just... Most of it's just... Okay, I think my artillery's a bit bugged. It's like I need to effectively target them after every volley, because they won't just shoot. So if I don't target them... Do they actually fire off another sortie, or do they just sit there? Now they actually are. Once we make the final assault, I'll end up having to drop my mortars. Make my mortars keep dropping. Uh, round shot everywhere. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't want to advance until I get a few more. Breach is made. Because as soon as they get me bottlenecked in any particular breach, 
That's when bad things start to happen. Although, to be honest, I am actually wrecking their sensor because they're very nicely deploying in this giant blob. Even when the shells are sporadically missing. Damn! Yeah, even managed to knock out two mortars inside the square. But yes, what I want is what I want is a cut is at least if I can get one gap where I can run an infantry unit in to hit their mortars, then that would be perfect. So let's speed up time. Okay, it seems you're really taking that time. Okay, you know what? Up. And switch to quick climbing units near the well one of them switched to quick climbing units near the breach. The others continue to attack as normal. So one's to keep dropping units on the Breach, sweet. Why has everything got a bit? Everything's gone a bit, f a bit frame ratey. I mean, you're not firing at all. It's just this Ooh, another green. Yeah, why? Hmm. It's odd. Doesn't like something. Odd. So we'll play speed one. Mm, more round shots coming in and quick round shots. Pats hold the gate. I really don't know why it's all it's gone all funny. Okay, so let's pick this unit, you hit that unit of on Picus. I'm actually too much you may as well both just keep hammering the centre square, because the more depleted damage they get, they end up being less effective in the response. And if this is going to be all ugly to watch, then I might just speed it up a bit. Actually, you, quick climber, well, they can't really get this unit, can they? Gurkhas have they got? Yeah, still, still a lot of Gurkhas. They've still killed a lot as well. That's 
140 Gurkhas don't have to worry about. If I play slow mo, well, okay, even though slow mo is slower, it's still at least nice to watch. <laughs> Carcass shots coming in. That's okay. These Seek Musketeers can stay where they are because I don't want to charge through the gate. I just want to get guys up on the wall. Foot artillery shoots here. Round shots are still doing damage. See, it's not even quick line, that's just round shot. So these guys are going to fire by rank. Let's try playing. Grappling lines have gone up. Okay, one of you utterly oh, needs to go quick line and drop it on this unit of armed populace. Because they are perfectly placed. And these garrison muskemen are actually. Well, it looked like for a minute they were going to. They were abandoning the walls, which is great because we're just showing up. up a unit of cavalry. Hit the musketman, but I want you to go for firelock armed. That's what I want you to do. confused about why oops I've hit the wrong one of why it's like this but yes it's part of the reason why I want a new computer let's move the cavalry closer because what I would like is if I can get them to commit some of their forces I can sprint the cavalry in through here and start to hit them in the sides and the rear. That's the hope. And if I can capture this gatehouse, okay let's take you guys and run you across the gate. To be honest I might just run them in anyway. Okay, if you're determined to get down here, get down here. So we've not taken the gatehouse, but we are effectively going to storm it. Kill them. Should we see? Musketeers actually seem. Okay, grenadiers go after the garrison musketmen. To be she might go after the musketmen as well. For try. Okay, good. We're back. Okay, 
Okay, let's tar retarget that, because that's not a good hit at all. Okay, let's tie up as many people as we can with our heavy cavalry. Like these dervishes. These cavalry are going to die. However, they will die. What are you guys running away from? For charge in. These are our gates. go in like this. Bench has a senior of levy. You may as well get involved. You definitely get involved. You guys try to get off the walls. These units must get rid of killing them well enough. Shooting to the back of this combat, which is a good idea in general. So, musk so my cavalry are going to get decimated in this battle, especially if my damn artillery is going to keep. boys, you run on and go help my heavy cavalry. <laughs> I can't promise how much help there'll be, but damn it's something at least. Well, I needed to keep this big block of melee troops busy and I've got my artillery set to attack ground here so hopefully misses in this sort of circular area should get some good hits. Okay, now let's pivot this guy firing by rank because they've now... these guys are pretty decimated. is to keep killing secret musketmen. Ah, the first reinforcement unit has come in. Or the first couple of reinforcement units. You form square, good sir. Notice those, those, those enemy units coming in till like right at the end. Yep, there goes unit of heavy cavalry. Whoa, don't advance up. Kill them with your muskets. How did you get up here? Kill them. I don't really have any reinforcements. Just need to be just need to keep an eye on actually let's set you guys to quick line any reinforcements. Let's run 
this infantry down. Okay, they're de definitely not quick climbing reinforcements like I wanted. Run. If I can run these guys here, they can at least start to provide fire onto the block of troops in the centre of the map. Are you now quick climbing them? Or going to quick climb them? Because I need to know. Because that's the most useful thing. Good, they are. Need to miss. So we got the head of that column. God damn, you guys need to keep. You guys need to go over here rapidly. You guys, guard mode off, just need to keep killing the guys stopping you from getting in. form Can you form square cuz a whole bunch of cavalry coming your way these guys stay where you are and fire at the cavalry so the hope is if the square holds these guys can knock out most of the lancers Center's broken. But we have reinforcements. Let's bring in our general. You guys keep me busy. Oh, your square's broken. But you're going after the musket men. You guys are getting held up by. 11 men, which is classic empire. And you guys are about to get the whole world ahead. So let's take this artillery unit and drop them over here. Go after the unpopulous. Fools, the cavalry thought I was actually going to get charged in. Drop quick climb on the Gurkhas as a matter of priority. Grenadiers are. Imagine to fight themselves off the walls. Let's charge them into the garrison musketmen. Although. These guys are going to do quite well at fending off their artillery. Hee, <laughs> the general's supposed to do the sneaky. It's a bunch of Gurkhas gone. 
if they can make it inside this little bridge. So these dregs charge into this combat, hold it up. You guys charge into the Kizabishi cavalry. General charge into the lances. Grenadiers run over here to form a blocking position. Same with these guys. So if my general can kill these lances. Charge them into that unit of Gurkhas just to hold them up. Artillery hit with Quick climb, foot artillery, aim for them. Let's see how long things hold for. That's the, the name of the proverbial game. If these guys can kill the cavalry, that would be lovely. These guys, my grenadiers, my company infantry, I should say. Okay, they've broken. Oh, these are grenadiers, though. So these are like the perfect guys to send against waves and waves of Gurkhas. Actually, do it. I can actually hold them off for just long enough. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Yeah, they're going to do it. <laughs> so now it's going to cost the loss of an army, but holy hell, the old zerp and flerp in general. Oh, my grenadier is holding off. See, sometimes that's what it's all about. Just hold off troops and stop them from getting to the centre. <laughs> My conscripts were just coming in. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was just about ready to not resolve in this. My other army. But I'll tell you what. Didn't even need them. Yep, we lost a lot of troops. But territory is ours immediately. Move this force out, move Hartman inside, and they've got a university here somewhere. Yeah, you definitely do. Aha, it's all the way over here to the east. Perfect. Then without further ado, let's send. I don't need the artillery. But send our troops north. And let's Halt! send them from tax for a turn. Get order. Well, let's get on replenishing. Like it looks like a good. No, I don't need another foot artillery unit. Um, but anyway, that's definitely the end of this part because these guys can't move either. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the push out of northwestern India. Cheers, everyone.